So it's just a six by 12 V nose trailer. And we'll come in through the side, show you kind of how we have it set up. You walk in, we got a retaining wall, be the biggest thing you notice right off the start. We just bought these E track brackets right here. And then you buy these brackets from Amazon that'll fit a two by four. It was the easiest place I find it. Other supply stores might have them, but I had to order mine through Amazon. And I did one E track on top and a full six foot E track on the middle. Cause then you're able to take out this top bracket and our retaining wall is on a hinge. You're able to turn that hinge up, put the top bracket in the middle and make a, a level surface to where you can stack the decoys up on top, fit a four wheel underneath if you need or any other gear you might like to have on the bottom. Uh, we got all the eye hooks mounted here for any of our duck stuff. A little, little, just a little gutter thing to put our flags in and stuff. And it holds two layout blinds and two goose chairs up front, along with probably about, I'd say roughly six dozen duck decoys, dozen fold dotty ducks, and about, this is about a half a dozen floater goose decoys. And it seems to work in case we ever want to go out. We just want to go hunt geese that day. We come in, get, get just our blinds, and then get out and get on the field. If we want to come in, we just want to hunt ducks that day, we can get ducks. If we want to do both, we have them all in one location. We have our whole setup ready to go for over a pond or something we could throw the geese out get on some get some ducks in there too so it seems to work well for us i looked on a lot of stuff for a, how to set up a trailer that would be good and then in the off season you're able to use it still so the door dropped in the back and you could kind of come in the back you see we got about four dozen full body dakotas goose decoys in there we just leave them on the stands throw them in the back Put those e tracks up so you're able to move that top one we didn't need to go all the way back here because i figured what's the point in having it back here we're not going to put a two by four here so i only bought the half e tracks for the front and then i bought the long ones from here and now i can run my wall all the way back to here or however space we needed in there and it's also good for like in the off season because i like to use my trailer in the off season and put a lot of uh uh, the four-wheelers in there if we want to go to the mountains or anything like that so it's pretty cool i'll show you a uh, thing with all the decoys out of it and how much it is with the spread on the rocks over here and show you how much how much stuff's truly in there when we get done when i get it all unloaded give you an idea of what it looks like when it's all cleaned out in here uh inside the v-nose with everything out of it you kind of see the brackets a little bit clearer here here you gotta have four of them they sell it in a group of four when you get them, so it's a little bit easier. You can buy more or less depending on how many walls you want to have. I mean, like if you want to have your lessers separated and stuff, or you want to have your full body ducks in the back or whatever you want to do, you can do it and you can build as many walls as you want with these E-brackets. And it seemed to be the best way that I found out there. And then you're able to take it out, get rid of this wall, your tra trailer's completely empty in the off season, use it, do whatever you need, you know. And uh, I'll take you around back show you how much stuff we really had in here this is all of our goose setup that was set up in the back with our silhouettes these are the two goose chairs that were up front mojos floating goose decoys two layout blinds our flags full body ducks our hanging ducks and everything so it's quite a bit of stuff to fit in a little 6x12 I mean this kind of gives you an idea of what I did here I turned that shelf up kind of show you how you can kind of stack some stuff on top we haven't really used it that way that much but it's perfect to fit a four-wheeler underneath here <clears throat> and then have that space for decoy bags or whatever you need so it works out pretty nice having that and how I move that bracket from up top there just down here to the middle and this is just on a hinge so it just rests there I mean it's not made to put a ton of weight but if you buy a couple more brackets, maybe run a couple more two by fours across it, you could probably even sleep up there if you guys need to, you know, and still fit all the rest of your gear in there so it's not packed outside of your trailer, sitting on the side of your trailer and stuff. So that's what it kind of looks like from the side door with it up and then through there. So give you an idea. It really works out nice to keep stuff separated, save you some time keep stuff organized out there in the field because that's probably one of the hardest things about hunting is trying to find stuff in the dark so definitely hopefully it's some help for you guys and you guys can really use it this year in the next coming year to get your trailer set up 
and stuff or give you a good idea on how you would like to run your trailer so and this is the picture of a trailer when it's all emptied out and how you look like you could just use it any anything it's free and cleared I mean you still gotta sweep it out but these tracks are good out of your way don't bother you at any and you can use your open trailer to put whatever you want if you need to put your four wheelers in to go up to mountains or move furniture or do anything like that so it's kind of nice to have it that way and use it hopefully it'll help you out hopefully this helped get you guys figure out how you might be able to set up your trailer and go out there and smack some duck and geese check us out knuckleenergy.com at knuckleenergy on twitter facebook and check out talk caliber outdoors on twitter facebook instagram and everything give us a like check out our video tell give us a comment let us know if it helped you out at all appreciate it so have a good one good luck smacking them